We kind of accidentally broke the internet with the uh, woolly mouse. We thought they were pretty interesting from a uh, proof of concept perspective and verification of our edits that we've been working on for the last three years for the woolly mammoth. But uh, then they had this massive adorability factor that we didn't plan for, which also gives us a lot of hope for our first mammoth calves will also be this adorable. And it's been crazy. We've just had parents and kids calling us and emailing us and DMing us and just being like, can we buy one? What does this mean? Is this a mini mammoth? We've got all these questions. It's had this like weird halo effect of like spurring additional interest in science. So the hair body fat composition, it matches what a woolly mammoth would be. Right. So we did, we had three kind of big targets. Uh, we did fat metabolism for mammoths. We did hair color. Uh, and then we did uh, that, that wavy, uh, curly, or as our chief science officer likes to say, floofy fur, which I don't think is a scientific term. We probably need about six to 12 months to verify cold tolerance. We have an ethics board and making sure that we're only doing behavioral studies that are healthy for the animals. We're not going to just take them and drop them in the Arctic and see what happens, right? It's it's a very thoughtful process. Uh, we're not selling them, uh, even though we get so many kids and parents calling us, begging us to sell them. We're not doing that. Um, you know, I do think other than the cold tolerant experiments, the other thing that we'll probably do is if there are additional traits that we want to test uh, from our Asian elephant uh, editing work in uh, Woolly Mouse 2.0, we'll probably do that.